Hello. Here we have my messy drafting table for inside the music. There is mortal friction. Mortal friction, in a nutshell, is basically the division of motion. When you think about dividing motion, you realize there's really no mortality, there's change. And that's kind of the message of mortal friction. It's not death, it's multiplication. We have some op art examples. You take a still life and you spin it, you haven't really changed anything other than your perception of what's going on. We have optical illusions dating to such artists as Victor Vassarelli or Bridget Riley. These are some simple optical illusion postcards I found while visiting galleries in Washington, D.C. this spring. Just lovely, simple, easy examples for the eye to follow. You can spin any direction you like. There's a nice, beautiful circle. Spin to the right, spin counterclockwise. So Bach, living in the 1600s, didn't have the help of op art, which would have made it so easy. But he did his research over the span of his lifetime and discovered the oral illusion in Mother Nature. You have motion that creates sound. But of course, you have to have friction, opposing motion, and then the sound actually is located as a tone in the center, which is mapped out where our energy could be any of these tones, depending on where the ratio of friction settles at an equilibrium. So Bach is spinning his circles and explaining how sound sticks together and moves at the same time, and he mapped out a nice little cross pattern of silence that occurs, we call it the overtone series, where that enables sound to actually move, is the silence. But this is mortal friction on a two-dimensional plane. You have silence here, but it stays flat, because you're dealing with a pitch and a pitch and a pitch. Along comes Brahms, he's like, what about harmony? What if I want to set off more than one tone at a time? How do I keep it sounding nicely? and not have chaos. So there's our cross pattern yet again, but as you can see, this is box circle, two-dimensional circle that we have folded. And we could fold it flat, just like box. There it is, lying in our two-dimensional plane, coming out from the center of our circle to the perimeter of our circle. And yet, what we've done, Simply taking that circle, you fold it in half, fold it in half again, it could go on forever. Can function in many different ways, which we have been designed for ways to pop open, or ways to sh shut close, <clears throat> as we saw here. Or a super complicated one, where you have a harmonic convergence of both this, and this, and this all can be folded up onto a flat two-dimensional surface. So that's our mortal friction. It's the interplay of dimensional time. 3D, two-dimensional, and I haven't researched beyond that, but I'm sure it goes out to the 11th or 12th or 13th dimension. So welcome to the beginning stages of mortal friction, an infinite world of motion, variety, and creativity.